Hello, welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. It is near the end of the year 2021, and I know about a, over a month ago I said no more pens, but I should have known that was a false promise to myself. So this pen showed up in my news feed on Facebook. Karis Pens is doing a special for the holidays. So this was day five. It's a pen that I had my eye on. And now that it went on sale, I said, can't pass it up. So it is now in my possession. This beautiful machine box, which they put their special vertexes in. Cover just slides off. To reveal the pen and some nice foam. And the other thing that's nice is on the reverse side of this lid are filling instructions for the various ways of filling it. That's for the eyedropper method. It also takes cartridge converters. And there's a little bit of uh, discussion on how you should take care of the pen and don't use it for certain things like a hammer. Yes, it is a piece of aluminum. I just am impressed with this resin. I don't know what else to say about it. Hopefully it's coming through on the camera. I've just never seen anything like this before. So if anybody knows of anything that looks like this, let me know in the comments. Here's a description on Karis's website. Nice pop-off cap. And I decided on a 1.1 millimeter stub. If you unscrew the section, you can see there's a converter there. And there is some of the converter visible in that ink window, so you can see how much ink you have, which is really nice how they designed that. And since it's a push-on cap, you can line up the cap and barrel however you want. It turns easily and there is a little bit of play in it which I've noticed on some of my vertexes but it doesn't bother me. So we're going to explore this pen a little bit more compare it to my other vertexes. I've decided what ink I'm going to use and we'll see how that 1.1 millimeter buck nib handles that ink. Stay tuned. When you get your Keras pens it always includes some little extras Example of the writing. Interesting phrase. A sticker. Pretty nice one. Two cartridges. And a pipette for those that would like to eyedropper and don't have any other devices. And yes, the nib was tested by S. And I do agree. It writes just as it's shown here on the card. So I have five vertexes. The first one here at the bottom of the screen is one I bought at the DC Pen Show many years ago. It took them quite a while, I think over six months, till they finally went into production with the model. It's the second one I got. Can't pronounce the name, but I'm going to put together a vertex playlist, so if you want to watch the detailed reviews of these, you can. Here's Challenger Deep, Bourbon on the Rocks, and Aqua Regia. So these are all very nice. I enjoy them all. And I think the design is absolutely perfect for a writing instrument that you can write with all the time, day in and day out. Very comfortable. I enjoy mine. One thing that I really appreciate about the Keras Vertex is its simplistic design. One, two, three, four, five pieces, and this is optional because you can eyedropper it or use a cartridge. And I could pull out the nib and feed, but I flushed this and there's no reason to do that. A pillow silicone grease on these threads and a little bit at the end of the section when I put it back in, when I screw back in the nib assembly into the section. So this is all ready to go. And I really do love this amazing acrylic, something I've never seen before. 
quite interesting, quite different. Let's see what the LED shows up. We now just have some muted sunlight coming in. So that we'll play the LED and that opaque part of the resin is just an interesting green color. If we go inside, we'll see a little bit of translucency in those pearlesced sections. I'm just impressed with, again, a unique resin. Their machining fit and finish is always exemplary. So I think it's time to put an ink in here. I do have two 1.1 millimeter Keras nibs. They're Bach nibs that Keras puts their custom laser engraving on. This was the first one I got last year. And they are a little bit off on their laser engraving. As you can see, the one that I just got lines up well. Both of these nibs are very well done. My expectation is, is I will grind one of these down to maybe a 0.7, maybe put a little bit of an angle on it. I think it's a good nib to do that with. And following along with my usual risky approach, I'm using an ink I haven't used before. Agile Pro. It has a little bit of glitter in it and it's kind of nice. Here's the color card. It is definitely in the a blue family with maybe a tinge of green. Not my best colors with my colorblind approach, but I think you can notice there is some of that glitter there, but it's nice and subtle, which can be fun. You can see the line of glitter stays there at the bottom where I laid down the ink on this chromatography paper. Other than that, it looks pretty blue with maybe just a tinge of pink there or something. A little different. Let's see how it works in the pen. Now we come to some editorial comments and some writing examples. I like all my vertexes and this is no exception. That resin just really pops and something completely different. That's what I look for now when I look to acquire a pen is what can I get that is going to be a little different but still enjoyable. After I purchased the pen, I had second thoughts about whether I should have gotten an extra fine nib instead of a 1.1, but now that I have the 1.1, I'm very happy with it. As usual, pops off easily. It posts well, posts deep, and really looks good posted. You can line up that interesting pearlescence that's in there. So let's put nib to paper and see how that 1.1 puts down that Agile Pro ink. I've written a lot with this pen, so it was running low on ink. I apologize about that, but shows you what will happen if you let the pen run low on ink. Now that I've re-inked it, it's working very well, which is what it had done while it was full of ink. And speaking of ink, I love this Aqua Agile Pro ink. It's just a little bit of glitter in it. Very interesting 
bluish color the touch of green kind of in the teal family so let's rate this pen and I'm gonna give it a 9.8 I toyed with giving it a 10 but it just falls a little short of a 10 I like it but the that cap being a little loose I think is something they could re-engineer and tighten up the tolerances on That's really about it, you know, and you get Bach nibs, so they're standard number sixes. You can swap them with whatever number six you want. Kaigalu long blade. So we've reached the end of this review. I don't know what else is going to follow in 2021, but stay tuned and find out. Thank you all for watching. I love the way this puts a little bit of character into your line without having to worry about pressure just as you change the angle when you write. Hope this video finds all of you safe, healthy, and happy. Enjoying your pens. Enjoying putting ink on paper. Enjoying sharing your thoughts. That's what makes life fun for many of us. We reach the end of this video. And we're going to say bye. Stay tuned. More to come.